righty, ladies and gentlemen. Little video just to say, fuck Bound for Glory pretty much, dear. Fuck Impact Wrestling, TNA, all of that horse shit there. Couple months ago, I thought that I was going to go watch it live, Bound for Glory, but... You know, it's not really worth paying a bunch of money to go watch this crap. You can pay big money to go watch it. The guy sitting next to you, he might get in for free, you know what I mean? So, definitely ain't worth going live. It's not like going to a WWE show with big names to excite you, shit like this. And when I was looking at ordering tickets, I wanted to get like a front row seat there. I was looking at, at the plan and the first three rows were reserved. They weren't sold out. They were just reserved. So pretty much you couldn't buy a front row, second row or even third row ticket. So I, I thought that was pretty freaking shady, you know what I mean? Like, um, not sure if this shit is reserved for their plants or families of the wrestlers, shit like this. So I just thought it was a bit weird that I couldn't even have the option to buy a front row seat or even third row, you know, what the fuck is this shit, you know? Maybe it's reserved for contests when they give tickets for free, don't fucking know what it is, but... I just thought it was pretty shady, so then I thought, you know, should I pay good money for a shitty seat and then the guy next to me gets it for free, like I said? Plus, it's all fucking bums at Bound for Glory, so fuck it. Fuck going to see it live, you know? And I looked at the final card this morning. You have wrestlers who can't make it, shit like this, because it's in Canada. Um, according to Andre Corbeil there, it's, that's the fault of immigration. I think I would blame TNA before blaming our government for shit like this there, but... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so a bunch of people can't make it, stuff like this there. I'm looking at the final card. And it's crap. It's not even worth ordering on pay-per-view. I usually order the TNA shows. I bash them. Stuff like this there, but, you know, really, it ain't worth, it ain't worth it this time. Spending 50 bucks just to deal with retarded, toxic, TNA, mental case fans, it ain't worth it really there. No matter how cheap the show is, these TNA goofballs are going to pretend it's good, and these goofs don't even fucking pay for the pay-per-view they just watch it for free so why should I pay money for this horse shit just to get attacked by a bunch of toxic losers who didn't even order the show themselves they're just gonna go around attacking everybody that does a negative review or you say anything that's negative about the show they're gonna freak out it ain't worth paying money, taking money out of my own pocket for a bad product. Just to argue with guys who are defying logic. Guys that are going to praise it no matter how bad it is. Just because they have a grudge against WWE. That's what this is. This TNA horseshit. The whole indie scene there. It's all guys with a weird grudge against McMahon. They have a grudge against WWE fans. So they're going to hate WWE 
and praise the shit fans no matter how bad it is just to get some kind of twisted revenge against McMahon and their heads there. This isn't worth it. It ain't worth getting involved in this weird nasty shit anymore there with TNA, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind talking about the news and stuff like this. I don't mind watching Impact while I do there. Very hard to watch. I'll put it on for three, four minutes. I have to change the channel. That's how bad it is. I, I can't even sit through a fucking 10 minute segment nowadays with Impact. It's so fucking god awful. You know, little things like this there, but going to see this shit live, paying money to order a pay-per-view for complete shit, just to argue with fucking mongoloids who are in denial and lying to themselves and shit like this. I've had enough of this fucking freak show. You know what I mean? And just look at the card real quick there. Eli Drake... Against John Morrison, an old washed up version of John Morrison, a disgraced version of John Morrison. Is this really a world title match? No. This is a mid card match at a fucking indie crap show that you go to on the Saturday for five, five to ten bucks or something there. Morrison against Eli Drake wouldn't even main event a fucking little shit indie show with big jobbers and stuff. And these goofs want to pretend that this is a main event for a make-believe world title. Give me a fucking break. This is not a fucking main event. It is not worth 50 bucks. For a shit match like this. Give me a fucking break. Moose against Bobby Lashley. They got crappy MMA wrestlers involved in this there. Guaranteed it's going to suck. It's going to be a big botch fest. And TNA fans will attack you if you criticize it. Oh, they're not real wrestlers, so... You're not allowed to mention if they botch or something like this. This is what they always do there. Not worth money for this. To see a botch fest, you're not allowed to criticize it according to retarded tough guy TNA fans. Not worth paying money for this there. Oh, Abyss versus Grado. <laughs> Take my money, man. Abyss versus a little goof, unfunny jobber. This is pay-per-view worthy. Fuck that. Not pay-per-view worthy. One of the most retarded storylines in wrestling history. This great old horse shit. And this is a, supposed to be a big match there for their WrestleMania style pay-per-view. In front of 10 people in the fucking shack there. Give me a fucking break, ladies and gentlemen. What else? Oh, X Division. You know, it's always the same thing. Five, six jobbers that nobody knows there. No selling. Even the 205 cruiserweights in WWE. Even they outclass these X-Division jobbers big time nowadays. It was always the argument. Oh, X-Division, they do more moves than, than 300 pound guys like John Cena. Well, WWE has a shit ton of these fucking skinny jobbers now. So fuck the X-Division. I don't need to watch midgets. Mexican jobbers no selling and pretending to be excited because it's not exciting these X Division shit matches it's indie trash is what it is skinny indie midget fucking trash horse shit that's what that is and then you have to pretend to like it 
Because it's the X Division, which is just worthless nonsense there, but you got to pretend that this is exciting. Oh, Garza Jr. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck gives a shit about this trash? You get what else? Team Mexico against Team TNA. Basically, three guys we have nothing for story-wise. We'll stick them together against Mexican jobbers. Oh, it's Team Mexico. It's, it's Team No Money. That's what that is. Team No Fucking Money. Let's bring in Mexican jobbers. Half the card is packed with jobber Mexicans. That nobody fucking knows there. Oh, there, there's some big talk. Big talk. A, a couple tards talking amongst themselves. Pentagon Jr. Might be at Bound for Glory. <sighs> some little goof from Lucha Underground. Maybe five people will be excited for this. He's another fucking Mexican coming to Bound for Glory there. TNA moving to Canada. Half the wrestlers are Mexican now. The fuck is going on here? What is this jobber fucking freak show here? You understand, people? Not worth any money, this. Not worth fucking five cents, this pay-per-view there. Okay, Pentagon Jr., these fans... They're not even excited for TNA wrestlers themselves. Hey, who's the latest Mexican that we can bring in for a nickel there? I'm going to pretend to get excited. It's Hexagon Senior, ladies and gentlemen, coming. He might be at impact. Let me pretend to care about this there. But yeah, this is complete trash there. It's not worth any money at this point. You know what I'm saying? Just to argue with TNA Mongoloids. You can probably... They're probably going to give away the main event for free next week on Impact. They always fucking do this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely not worth it. Like I said, these TNA fans, they're, they're just toxic fucking weird motherfuckers. I'm reading comments today from these guys. It's clear that they're not all there. You know what I mean. And then you have the Andre Corbeils of the world there. I praise TNA so that makes me a good person. Uh, it makes me a professional if I praise it. It makes me mature. I'm a knowledgeable guy because I praise TNA. In reality, the company sucks. It's trash. Everything about it sucks. Pretending to like it, it's worthless. Maybe if Andre gets paid for this, it's fun for him. I don't know. I don't know, but I know the man is... Living a lie there. He's in denial, making shit up, trying to make this horse shit look good. When it's obvious to anybody with eyes there that it's complete fucking trash. If Andre's a big professional because he pretends to like this shit, that's good for him. You know what I mean? He's a professional reporter, but... Uh, as a wrestling fan, as a guy who doesn't have any weird motives there, as a guy who's living in the real world there, this shit looks like trash. It is what it is. Bound for Glory, it used to have a little bit of prestige back in the day there. Way back in the day. But this, there's nothing prestigious about this. Nothing good, it's jobbers, Mexican trash that they're bringing in for 10 cents a match. Definitely isn't a, a pay-per-view that's worth buying. You could get the same card for five bucks at a local Lindy show <clears throat> in front of 15 people. Don't fucking tell me this shit's a big pay-per-view because it's garbage. It is what it is. Fuck! Bound for Glory 2017, worthless trash, straight up. Until next time, peace!